Hey there, Professor, and welcome now to Tuesday. Well, you might want to just kind of stay inside. It's cloudy, chance of storms, and my advice for all Sagittarius is bite your tongue for the next two days. On the one hand, the moon moves into Scorpio today. The moon in Scorpio is a polarizing effect on the planet. You'll find people take sides. It'll be interesting, interesting to see what happens in the presidential races today and tomorrow because people take hard sides. And Hillary is a Scorpio, so I'm imagining she's going to get kind of tough and really feel strong in the next two days. It'll be just interesting to watch. When you are a Sagittarius, though, the moon in Scorpio brings highlight to your inner issues, your karma, your drama. Basically, your self-sabotage patterns, any addiction you may have, and really goes all the way down to the weeds in your soul garden that wrap around from your childhood. So, unless you are meditating and staying on top of your subconscious triggers, this is a time where I find people tend to project onto other people and see their mother in their girlfriend. That kind of thing, right? Even though you don't realize it. So be careful. Really, the best thing is to keep your mouth shut. I'll tell you why. Mercury is in retrograde. In fact, for the next two days, Mercury is in retrograde and Mars is in retrograde, which is kind of like having your mouth and feet bounded at the same time. We'll see how that plays out. I'll tell you this, the Mercury retrograde will be going on until February 19th or so. And what that means for you is that as you move forward with your thinking and the way you progress in your thoughts and progress in your intellect, Mercury is having you rewrite all at the same time. So it's kind of like reinventing uh, the wheel while you create a car. You know, it's, it's kind of complicated, and this is the way Mercury retrograde works. You're forced to move forward in one way, but you're moving backwards in another, and this is all playing out with intellect and communication with Sagittarians, which means you are prime more than any other sign to blow it, to put your foot in your mouth. So I'm warning you, be careful, and please, Sagittarius, do not sign any contracts for the next three weeks, because I think that will be perhaps a mistake, not the smartest thing. If you have to, write me at livelovebee at soulgarden.tv and we'll deal with this on a case-by-case -case example. All right, that's all we have for the day. I'll see you tomorrow, Sagittarius. Live, love, be. Soul Garden.